five, four, three, two, one. Hello. What's up? <laughs> I'm, I'm Judge James. Ow, that hurt. Why you hit me? I'm Judge James. I'm to TV. And this is Living for Crits. And we're just going to get rolling here. I know we're a little bit late. Sorry about that. We are here tonight and stuff. We got some fun topic stuff to talk it's about. True. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna get right into you it. Change the font. Well, I only changed the font because I was dragging oh, that one thing, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this bad boy. Here we go. Let me do ASMR. Okay, wait. No, Stop. No, you, have ah. to, you have to no. Got some can of dry to, going like, here. Happy Father's top. Day, Greg. You have to poke the top with your nails. I have my nails right now. All right. Anyway. Um, we're just gonna, I, I, the only news we have is that our, our, our week's vacationing's a bit different because of just some stuff going on. No need to go into any of that, but, uh, but we've had to, we've had to, our vacation next week is going to end up being more of like a staycation. We were hoping to be traveling. And so, uh, we won't be traveling, but we'll be stay raveling. Bonjour. But anyway, we'll be talking about some stuff today, which would be cool. We're discussing summer tabletop RPG packing. For like vacations and stuff. That's our topic tonight. All right. The pack Not, is back. We'll be packing or anything. So, oh, Dev's here. What's up, Dev? All right. Let's go into Judge Eve Presides. There's one okay. question tonight. You no, can send questions, questions to DCCJudgeEvie at gmail. three questions. Dot com. I'm burping. It's one email, but it's. And three questions, three questions from Brian. Go I ahead and read one. the questions. Okay. I don't like reading it off, but then I'm reading it off myself. That's too much effort. Like stare and then look for the creep because I'm like, hmm. It's so hard. I know. So hard. So, um, um. Come on, let's do it. Selamat Petong, judges. I think that Malay. Malay. Well, good Malay. evening. I don't know. Yeah. I hope everything is going well back there. It's hot and humid in Singapore, but there is gaming. Here are some questions from the gamers out here. Un. I've noticed almost all of the people I've played with here use... I don't know what accent I'm going into. I don't know what this is. It's terrible. Use phones or tablet to manage the character sheet and look up rules when playing. Do you prefer to use pencil... That sounds like some 5e crap going on right there. Do you there. prefer to use pencil and paper for character sheets or online tools when playing in person? Uh, pencil and paper? Yeah. Otherwise, like... What kind of question know, is this for what us? What could they be doing? They're definitely yeah. not paying attention to you if they're like, I actually, like, need my phone to, like... I'm on Candy Crush. I mean, D&D 5e generators. I'm on generators, but I actually, like... Look, I get it. You know, playing, like, wasting paper is a bad thing. But how are you supposed to make them into little tombstones? Yeah, you can't you do can't that. You can't make your phone a tombstone. You can't. You can't. We'll go into that character sheets a bit tonight, actually. So I think for Judge Evie and I, we both talk about pencil and paper. Mm -hmm. Definitely our preferences. The kind of pencil is very important, though. Not pens. Don't use pens. I mean, but uh, well, which one would you prefer? Well, like, I, I personally prefer traditional pencils still. I don't prefer, like, these crappy ones, but I prefer, like... Where are they at? Like one of these when it's not busted? Yeah, but like not that one. Or There's like... There's DCC one in here. So the DCC, DCC ones are legit. Kinda. They're, the, the lead's a little thin. Besides that. Um, that's... That's, that's a marker. marker. Alright, we don't... We can keep going to the question. Let's go back to the question. That's a... That's a Mickey Mouse pen. Don't use that one. Alright, go... Next question. What? Okay. Um... Question duh. What are some of your favorite online or electronic resources for TTRPGs that you could use when playing in person? Or oh, you would well, use? I mean, the, the, I can't. The mappy thing. Which mappy thing? Are you using Yeah, I, I have, well, for playing in person, though? Oh, never mind. I mean, per personally, for maps, I've been using, uh, was it, uh, uh, the, uh, the Rodeo, Alvar Rodeo, at, for my online games. It's been working great. So I am I'm quite the fan of that. I don't know for for tabletop RPGs, the online resource we use the most is YouTube for ambiance. Yeah. You know, uh, so I, I guess it's electronic. Oh. So we'll put like we did Mothership this year. We put the cockpit like space scene on the one end of the room, and then we had the background music from the Nostromo from Alien happening on this computer. So it was it was pretty great. So I think I think that's for for. In person play, I, I 
I think that's as far as we go as YouTube. And Google Docs. Yeah. Uh, Dev legit. almost asked a question about ambiance. Well, I mean, we would love question about ambiance. You can always send to dccjudgeev at gmail.com. We would love to do an ambiance show because we are huge can fans of ambiance. Can we set the ambiance, ambiance up? What? Can, our, can we like, set ambiance in the background? I know if you go to our YouTube channel, you can actually look. I think it's shared publicly, our favorite mothership ambiance stuff. Uh, especially for music, because I like to have that on the background when I'm kind of like plotting. I've been, I want a I've, show where we actually have the ambiance in the back. You can't. It's not really yeah. so easy to do because you're copying someone else's crap and stuff. What? There's a mothership inspiration playlist that I have. Like the lights. That includes a spaceship Nostromo. No, not the sound. We did. We already did the lights. We've talked about the lights already. But if we have an ambiance episode, we should have the lights up. But we already talked about that. But they wanted an ambiance. Well, maybe if I'll put the lights up and actually go do something. Okay. 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 Anyway, that playlist has 10 hours of spaceship cockpit in there, as well as a whole bunch of synthwave stuff, Metroid Prime music, the Subnautica soundtrack, and Soviet wave mix, which is how it starts That's out. That's legit. Yeah. It's some good stuff. So you can uh, you can do our you know, I'll just copy our mothership playlist into here somewhere and put that in somewhere. I'll make a note of that and we'll we'll share that. All right, good question. Third question. Third question from Brian. Third question. Third question. I ran a glitter doom. Good name, Tati. For the group here, they loved it and want more. Can you use your influence to get Goodman Games to send some books to game stores here or even open a satellite store? Cheers, boy. We don't really have influence with Goodman Games. Um, so, um, I mean, I don't, I don't know how, how, how best we could do this. Wait, you know what? I don't know. All right, Brian, I guess you at Brian, clarify the question if you want it to send... <laughs> Open a satellite store, like a, 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 a store somewhere else, just a Goodman store? I don't think we could do that. That would be so cool, though. Are you asking for Singapore or for in uh, Australia? When you go back to Australia, are you now parked in Singapore for a while? Clarify in your next question, and I'll, 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 I'll tweet Goodman. Or you can tweet Goodman. Tweet. And that was from Cheers, Brian. Yeah. So, good oh, questions. Fine. Good questions. We're going to move on. Again, send questions to dccjudgeevi.gmail.com. Yeah. rap, really? Yeah, we do. I have, like, such congestion. Well, too bad, so sad. Cry about it. We're rapping. All right. Okay. Um, let's title, let's get back to normal pop culture overload. Okay. Wait, is pop culture overload part of the rap? No. That's the song. Rap, Here we go. Ready? Okay. <coughs> what? What's so fast? <coughs> a fun you lack of wait, 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 wait. You need a better wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. You need a better a better thing. <coughs> I find you like a faith refreshing, <coughs> says the villain to the demon. A bad feeling about this I have it really has me steaming. <coughs> Chase a felon with some wait feeling I burped felon feeling felon 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 chase chase a felon with some relish through a dark mismo bog he'll complain he'll complain about those meddling kids and the very stupid dog could it please remain in character avoid the constant Hassle of the memes in the modern quotes, like have fun storming castle. I realize it's just a game. We're here to have some fun, but must our dialogue consist of endless streams of puns? Woo! Another rap by Greg Schwartzkopf. With more words I can't say. With more words you can't say. I burped in the middle of it. Woo! That all right, again. That was so good. Send all of your. Uh, we should probably double check them and make sure, like, the rap. If we get a rap from somebody else, not Greg, we should make sure it's like. Well, I'm pretty sure that was Greg. Do that was Greg. We should always that make sure if Greg. it wasn't Greg that we've cleared, like, the words and stuff. We, tr we trust Greg. But, yeah. like, if someone else sent us a rap, we'd have to read it. Because you don't read Greg's raps beforehand. You just do That's them. That's not true. Do you read them beforehand? No, you don't. Well, 
What? All right. So, uh, yes, Mr. Citrus, high quality burping indeed. All right, we're going to talk about gaming portability for summer vacationing. And we have a selection of stuff behind us. So it's, it's, your, it's your summer and you're going to travel. Maybe you're going to Gen Con like us and you need to pack uh, up some stuff for your convention uh, game running. Maybe you are going on a cruise with your family and you want to run a one shot one night. Maybe you just want to be ready to run games uh, no matter what happens, you know, whether it's you know, maybe you just want to use in case a random game goes down. So we have some packets behind us. There's just some sample collections of games that you could pack, uh, including a, 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 a set of what every gamer needs for their travel. And then, uh, you know, we're going to go down the line here of some different different types of games you can pack with you. So I want to start, we're going to start with the first pile here. Just grab the stuff here. All that stuff, yeah. Yeah. yeah, be careful with it. This is sort of like our what every gamer should have when they're traveling. We can go into, I think you did a show about bags before. So, I mean, and I've... There's a fuzz in the air. A long time ago, I did a bunch of, I did a bunch of vlogs for the Nomad Judge series. So I remember that. So, I talk about, like, gaming bags, but... This is just some samples of what, no matter what happens, of stuff you we, we suggest you bring. The first is whatever you bring, just make sure you have a folder with, and this can be filled with character sheets, uh, maps. This this is just happens of mothership stuff. When we thought we were traveling, I was going to run mothership. So, but uh, handouts you might want to give the players. So I have some handouts in here, uh, just some stuff that you might want to have with you, uh, with your your character sheets, and then. Uh, you should always have with you some kind of little tablet. We would suggest, I suggest, we suggest a dry erase board. This one is used. This one is uh, from uh, Paizo. And you're going to want some markers that work with it also. This is great even if you, you, you don't plan on using miniatures. And for travel, miniatures are a pain in the butt anyway. At least I think so. So just to toss basic show -ems together, this is great to do that. So big. Yeah, we're not gonna open it up. It though. really just really gets really big, guys. If you are gonna open it up. Wow, it's a lot better now. All right, close it up. <laughs> Finally. Did you, did you hear? Oh, we're getting tea. Oh my god. Not that I need tea just yet, but. I need tea. It was just for tea. All right, yeah, we got. I, I asked. What what tea is this? Regular. Regular, not unleaded. I got the Kumai. Got Marshmallow the minis. I guess we could have that. Here, let's, let's clink it. What are you let's clink our tea. minis? Thank you. That's not tea. I want the tea. It's too hot to drink. Wait, let's do it up here. That should have been our picture. We should take our picture. What? Like, we should take our picture with the tea. No, picture at the end. The last thing you need to have timing. is dice. And this is just one of my many dice bags. Uh, I, I, I would say that have the dice for the game you're running. So you might need some different dice based on the game that you're, you're running, obviously. And we'll go into that in a second. So that is like the, our recommendation oh, for everything. So we're gonna start down here. So this why don't you start in the back? Like, no, it's not the back. That's so much harder. Let's guess. start with the first box. There are definitely those games, especially uh, demo games, uh, not, like, like starter sets and uh, uh, games where everything is in one box. I mean, the, the basic D&D &D box set, the red box, uh, had all that. Uh, there is, of course, the D&D &D 5th edition starter box where everything is in one single box. I don't have that anymore. We gave it away. We do have a copy of the Dragon Age box set. So if I was to just get one box. This is one of the two boxes we have in the house that, you know, we could just get this and inside this box are going to be, you know, a player's guide, a game master's guide, some dice, a uh, beautiful poster map of the nation of Ferelden. And, you know, I'd probably throw a GM screen with this uh, just because the age system, it's nice to have. Uh, well, I'd also throw the, the boards that have all the stunts because, you know, stunt mechanics are a big deal in age. So this is a great box set. Another box set you could go with, and this is the big one. Sorry about this. And we haven't even touched this one yet, but we, we actually have the Quest of Your box set from, uh, from Onward. If you didn't know, there's like a role-playing adventure game 
from Disney for Quest of Yore that has character sheets and a little so GM cute. screen and you know I don't know the rules you've never played it but just a sample of a game that you could just pack with you this is not so portable I will what say what are this you is talking a, about that's so this is not portable put this back over there what are you talking about it's real portable since we we talked on. old school let's go into as old school as it gets and let's show off some wait where's the other one put it up here. let's show some D&D &D off we have some Dungeons and Dragons here that indeed so the, the the white books we should show off first. We we I I've been I've said many times if I was stranded on a desert island with only one game book, one game book I might choose would be the D and D rule cyclopedia. I've gotten rid of most of my Dungeons and Dragons stuff uh, over the years. I'll probably never get rid of my rule cyclopedia. And this is an original rule cyclopedia from the what the the early nineties. This is not a print from Drive Through RPG. So everything is in here. It's a little warped, you know, a little bit. But uh, if you, as long as you have this, as long as you have a GM screen or a Dungeon Master screen, and then you don't need anything else, but you know, I might pack an adventure. And a great adventure for this, again, if you're on the hunt for classic modules, is Quest for the Silver Sword. And I like that because it has a fold out map and it has stand up miniatures, which I've never unpunched. I've run the adventure, but never unpunched them. So if you want to have uh, some minis of the bad guys, you can punch these out and put them on the board. So yeah, so that's a that's a that's a fun one, a good one to have. It says sword there. on it. It does say sword oh, on it. Oh, it has a sword on it. So this is what I would pack if I was going to run Dungeons and Dragons. Not that I probably ever will, but if I was going to run it again, so I'd pack. All right, so let's say you're going to run DCC. Hey, now. There are two schools of thought on running DCC on the road. The first school of thought is that you just need the like a 64 page oh, intro this? booklet. No, no, no not no. that. No. And I I this? think that you want so the spells. 64 pages? No, there is a 64 page starter book. Where? You've, you've seen it. It's not there. Oh. I was confused. Oh my god, you're dense. I say no. I say bring the whole core book with you. The core book is not small, as any Dungeon Call Classics I guess, I don't GM about. knows. Carry on. It's not small. Carry on. You also, I would suggest, uh, you also should pack this if you have one. This is uh, a reference sheet book, which is easily very portable. You also want a GM screen or judge's screen. You also want a lot more character sheets because these characters are going to die. And then I would pack a wonderful module like the Accursed Heart of the World Ender, which I'll be running at Gen Con 2022 in just a few weeks. So That's I would say, so weird. Yeah, I know, isn't it crazy? The last thing I think you definitely need for DCC, I mean, I think you need this is don't forget the weird dice. You can't okay. just show up at a game okay. of DCC with your regular dice set. So if you are packing a set of dice for Dungeons and Dragons or Dragon Age or something else we're going to show off. Yep. Or, or, or Savage Worlds, this ain't gonna cut, count, cut it. You need the full set. Now I have bags with them all ready in there, but just showing off. so pretty. They're so sparkly. What do we got next? Um, this or this? This is all one thing. The game with the most fiddly bits. Let me go to the books, I'll grab these. Well done. Okay. And something I'm bringing with me to Gen Con 2022 also would be Savage Worlds. Now, I think Savage Worlds is very portable. The book size for Savage Worlds uh, is definitely gotten smaller there, the graphic novel size books. Um, so, you know, the, these they're, they're not super big, uh, but, you know, they are hardbacks. Even their, their GM screen is smaller. Actually, the Savage Worlds GM screen is my favorite GM screens because of the kind of letterbox uh, setup that the screen is set up with. That's a that's a Deadland. I don't know why I have the, I have the wrong the wrong uh, screen too. That's not the uh, Lost Colony screen. But uh, something else I've been very vocal about with Savage Worlds is if you're going to run a week's worth of gaming, the reason about Savage Worlds Adventures is they almost always have an adventure generator in here, so you can just roll up an adventure at random. We've done it a lot with ETU. It's worked great. So if you think you're going to play for multiple days and you want to play multiple sessions, I would go with Savage Worlds. I will say that you do have the extra fiddly bits. Uh, the great thing with that now is they have the, the PC cards. 
So you could uh, bring these cards with you. I'll be bringing these with Gen Con. But remember, you're gonna need you like you're that? gonna need bennies. So a I I have this little bag here for my travel bennies, and I like to use uh, just simple poker chips. And I have a system for these. So just as, as, as here's what I do when I run Savage Worlds on the road, or even I run it in my room on, on my Saturday morning games, is I use the white tokens for bennies. I use the blue tokens and hand them to the players if their character is shaken, and I use the red tokens for wounds. You want to see a magic trick? I can sure. turn this dude into this dude. Okay, let's see. You ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Wait. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Nice. Wait, wait. No, I, I got this. Um... I really just I want to read finish three, the, the section. Two, one. Awesome. The other thing you don't want to forget for Savage Worlds is you're going to need to set up play, set up playing cards for uh, for initiative counting. So again, Savage Worlds is going to require more fiddly bits to pack with you, and you might want miniatures. In which case, we're in a whole different different enchilada here. Why these were enchilada? I don't know. All right. So finally, let's discuss the most portable game here. We said this last week. I, 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 and this is this is even more portable than this. But the most portable game I would still say is Mothership. Mothership. That's what we were going to take with us on vacation, and I still plan on running some next week. Mothership, as the RPG, only requires the one book. There are other books coming in their Kickstarter, but I still have my zero edition, my original edition of this. And then I would suggest bringing an adventure book. So here's a pound of flesh, which is a pound of flesh is all kinds of awesome rules for building out space stations and some sample adventures that you could run on, you know, on a space station. So if you've uh, been watching a lot of the Orville like we have and you want to run some space gaming, you can do so with just those two books. You also need far less dice. I think you can get by with just a bunch of D10s, maybe some D6s. Uh, and that's all you need. And I don't know if there's a D twenty or not in that game. I think D tens is all you need. It's a, a D one hundred system. I like the. I'm looking at the patches. So you can get by with just a couple books. I think it is the most portable of RPGs, and that's 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 what we got. So that's our sample our sample packets. Yeah. You know, I'll be packing for Gen Con the DCC stuff, the Savage World stuff, and the Mothership stuff, as long as well as some additional swag. I have. I'm running two. Four sessions on the books at Gen Con, and right now I'm running at least one, probably two sessions of stuff off the books. So that's our that's our. If you if you agree with us, let us know. If you disagree in your own packets, let us know in yeah. comments or in in the stream chat or wherever. All right, so let's go to Kickstarter shoutouts. Nothing. Mail got nothing. DM Scott is a new game system. Easy D6. All you need is D6s. That sounds a lot like uh, the age system. Because in Fantasy Age, all you need is D6s. You know, I realized something this week I have a problem with. I I can't... I have an issue with, uh, with age system dice or any D6 system dice where you're adding up pips. Like, I have a hard time if the dice don't have the number on them. Oh, yeah, no. Like if you have three dice and one's a five, a six, and a two, I have a hard time adding them up unless you actually see a five, a six, and a two. I can't do it with the symbols. So I don't know if that means anything. I think it means I'm a robot. <laughs> so, um, It's just anyway. so much easier. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I know uh, no Kickstarters that we know of right now. I took a, a quick scroll. I did not see any that, that, that at least there's nothing we're backing right now. So... If you know of any, let us know. Uh, and then where can... Oh, Road Crew shoutouts. Gen Con 2022. Be there or, or not be cool. Or be square. Or not be cool. Where can folks find us on the online, Judge Evie? They can find us at I Live for Crits on Twitter. Living for Crits on Instagram. And search Living for Crits on YouTube. So until next day, game. Next dame. Dame. Be safe. Be healthy. Be kind. What? I was laughing at my joke. And my since head. we just finished Shredder's Revenge yesterday and had to have pizza afterwards, 
I'm just gonna say cowabunga. I was gonna say, hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> that can be yours. Hey girl. <laughs> Hi everybody.